Lubaba TV. Hello, it's another good day that we meet you and today I have another topic and for sure I know every person will be in love with it meaning that we will we'll be interested and in learning something from it Today I want to share something and I want to talk on different and most profitable farming ideas for you to do so in today's topic we know which are the most profitable farming ideas but also you have to know in the, in which way are those ideas much profitable compared to other farming ideas and if you have not subscribed consider subscribing and hit the bell so as to be updated whenever i put new videos here in Dubaba tv but also it's better to inform also your fellow and family member and friends so as they can also learn and know something which they didn't know before. People will start wondering, how did I know that this farming practice are much profitable compared to other farming? But the good thing is that I am an agriculture expert and so that means I work with different farmers. And the good thing is that most of the farmers that I'm working with are successful farmers. My day's topic based on the simple research that I did. I had some different conversations with those farmers. I have some different dialogues with those farmers to learn from them and to know how profitable are their farming. And comparing them based on their capital investment, but also duration of the farming practice itself but also the market condition of that kind of farming. So all those things gave me an idea and gave me one conclusion so as to bring to you so as we can learn. That doesn't mean that this farming only are the ones which are profitable. There are a lot of farming that you can do and you can earn a lot of money. But based on the truth, based on the research that I did, but also based on the, our nature environment here in Tanzania, I think this might be among few profitable farming that you can adopt or you can even be involved in it. Without wasting time, we start with horticulture farming. When we talk about horticulture, we mean growing of different vegetables and fruits. This kind of farming has proved to bring or to create different multi-billionaires in the agriculture industry. This is because most of the agriculture products are recently used and are daily used. There are different kinds. Let's talk about, for example, when we talk about tomatoes, we talk about onions and whatever. There are most of the most used crops and I'm sure everybody must use them daily. The importance of this farming is that it doesn't require a lot of capital to start but also it take, it usually takes a few days and months to, for you to get the products so as to take them in the market. All of these have supported for this product to be one, for this farming to be one of the most profitable farming supported with availability of market. I think market of horticulture products is everywhere. There are always demand in these products. And I remember I had some conversation with one of the farmers that I know and he surprised me by telling me that he has earned a lot of money within just a small piece of land and he was growing tomato and he ended up getting more than $10,000. You can see how profitable this farming is. Second is poultry farming. There are different varieties of poetry here in Tanzania which give you a room to choose what kind of poetry you have to keep depending on the nature of your market or depending on the nature of your customers. This is one among the profitable farming because the consumption of poetry here in Tanzania is always high. As you can see, there are a lot of universities, as you can see, there are a lot of workers, and as you can see, there are a lot of people prefer 
eating chickens. And one of an interesting thing here in Tanzania is that when you have an important visitor, you must prepare chicken for him or her. That shows some level of appreciation and how important visitor is. So all those are just something which one I want to show you and I want to, to show you that this poultry farming is also one of the profitable farming here in Tanzania. And I know one of my friend who is earning more than $1,000 every month just by doing poultry farming. So you can choose and adapt this kind of farming so as you can gather money and create an employment opportunity for yourself. And third is pig farming. Without doubt, I can say this is one also among the most profitable farming here in East Africa, here in Tanzania, and I don't know there where you are, if you are in South Africa, if you are in another country, you can share that in the comment, how is this farming doing in your country? This farming has also created multi-millionaires here in Tanzania, this is because the consumption of pig here in Tanzania is high and that pig doesn't lose market. The matter is that you need just to grow them in a professional way and you need to grow them in a business manner. Despite of the challenge that it requires some high amount of capital but also getting some pure breeds and best keeping breed is some, sometimes a challenge even though it's also very 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 profitable and you can adopt it also and I'm sure you won't regret it. Last but not least is tree farming. There are a lot of kinds of trees that person can grow. The problem of this investment of oil of this kind of farming that it require a very time, a very long duration, I mean a very long period of time. And this is one of the most profitable farming here in Tanzania because we always see trees are highly demanded. Everything is wood. Wood is making a lot of things as we know. And I know one of the farmers who has obtained more than $100 in tree farming. It doesn't matter what kind of trees are you growing. What matters is the growing the right kind which is needed. For example, when you talk about Mikiti, Nsepias and whatever, all of the all of that kind of the uh, are the trees species which are believed to be much much profitable. The challenge of this farming is that it requires a very long time as I said before. Matter of for two months or three months or three years. It's a long process and it can even take 10 years for you to start harvesting your trees. But all in all it's much profitable and it's good investment for long term investment. Hope you got something and you learned something and for today let's just end and let, let's just end up here and hope you have something that you can share with us or you can just ask here in the comment and I will answer within the right time. I'm Matt Rubaba and this is and this is Rubaba TV. Don't just to subscribe and hit the bell so as to be updated whenever I put new videos here at Rubaba TV. Thank you.